Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Dylan uh, from the Rideshare Hub. Today's video, we are looking at how to make over $30 an hour as an Uber driver in 2022. So if you're interested in signing up to be an Uber driver, uh, you're here at the right place because we're gonna help give you good information on how to make the most amount of money. And also, if you haven't yet signed up for Buckle Up Insurance, they have a special promo right now where if you sign up and get a free quote, they're gonna send you $20 Visa gift card. It's free, it takes five minutes. You can also become a member and they're gonna send you five bucks as well. So let's get started, let's jump in. All right, so this is what we're looking at today. This is from the Ride Share Guy. He is a uh, former Uber driver and head of the company called the Ride Share Guy. Okay, he wrote this article, well, Paula Gibbons wrote an article called Seven Ways to Get More Tips as an Uber Driver. So. This is gonna help you on your track to earn over 30 bucks an hour. And to be honest, you probably ain't making over 30 bucks an hour unless you're getting good tips. So, how to boost passenger tips as a rideshare driver. Number one, provide excellent customer service. Hey, 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 you want a water back there? Hey, you want some candy? You want some goldfish? No, that's not what you wanna do. What you wanna do is you wanna greet them by their first name. Hi, Cindy, how are you today? Hey, you know, if there's anything I can do for you during the ride, let me know. If you need the AC on, uh, you know, if you want the heater on, you know, I don't mind uh, if you have any choice of music. Um, usually they'll be like, oh, I'm fine, don't worry about it. But just because you offer, they're gonna throw you a $5 tip. Number two, be professional, my friends. You don't have to dress up in a shirt and tie, but at least be looking presentable will go a long way towards making your passengers comfortable. Yeah, I mean, I do agree with that. Um, I. Although I do drive in sweatpants a lot, <laughs> to be honest, and I've never heard any complaints and I honestly haven't noticed my tips gone down or up based on the way I dress. I just, I think like, I always make sure I'm like showered and like smelling good and I don't, you know, wear like PJs, but I mean, I will wear like gray sweatpants and like a t-shirt like this and it's like, that's kind of all. I haven't really noticed much of a difference. Number three, knowing when to talk and when to not, that's true. Most drivers, they think that talking, yapping their passenger's ear off is exactly what they want. I had a passenger, I had a driver the other day. I get in and he's like, started talking to me about gun control and like shootings and stuff and like gun policies. I'm like, bro, I was trying to go to get my rental car. And I'm like, dude, I'm literally just trying to go like, it's like a 10 minute drive, bro. Like, what are you doing? I did not tip that guy. I'm sorry, dude. But like, he was scaring me. I was like, I hope this guy is not armed. Like or if he is like, I don't know, I just felt really uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, definitely make sure to not talk too much because it can get annoying. Number four, good, play good neutral music. I do agree with that. It's important to play like chill music, soft, like chill music. Don't be playing rap, don't be playing hip hop. Like don't be, honestly, don't be playing anything besides like, I don't know, if you wanna play like old school Frank Sinatra or something like quiet or like Mumford and Sons style, like chill music, like they'll probably, that's probably fine, but I don't know, don't be playing anything like crazy. And keep it really, keep it low guys, don't turn the volume up, okay? Unless they ask. Number five, be on time to pick up your rider. That's true, don't be late. Be willing to wait a reasonable amount of time for a round trip excursion. Some bashes realize that you're taking extra time out of your day and possibly lowering your potential earnings if they run an errand as part of their trip. Some of these bashes will reward you or your patient with a tip. I do, I do actually like, most of the times when pastors ask me to go take them through the drive-through, I will. Usually they buy you food, you know, it's kind of common courtesy, like, hey, what do you want? You want burger fries? And then they throw you $5 tip. So it's like, I, and it's, I was, and I kind of count it as like my little break for the day, for the night or whatever. Um, but yeah, if they want to go through the drive through as long as the drive through is not like 30 minutes long, if it's like an extra five minutes, like who cares? You're probably going to get a tip out of it. Have a sign that says tips are appreciated. Yeah, you can do that. I mean, the more they see that, that it's going to help. Um, drive during inclement weather. Yeah. If you're driving during the snow, crazy rain, you will get more tips most likely. Oh uh, yeah, this is Paula Gibbons. Uh, shout out to Paula. Thanks for writing these articles and helping us make more money. So there's the way how to make 30 over 30 bucks an hour. Follow those steps to get more tips and you should be well on your way. Thanks for watching. Check out Buckle Up Insurance down below. Oh, and there's another way to increase your earnings. Sign up for Play Octopus. You'll get a tablet in your backseat of your car. 
and pastors can play games for prizes and you'll get more money uh, up to $100 extra per month. So check that out down below. Use my code and talk to you soon. Bye now, guys.